The uh, current update uh, is adding some interesting features to the Contour 3D. So if we create one, let's convert this rectangle to a Contour 3D. The, um, the first thing that you hopefully see is that it's much faster. Um, we've improved the code and it should now be a lot snappier than it was before. So when I reshape it, you can see the same, it's sort of almost instantly there. Okay, the next thing that you probably noticed is the uh, rounded corners. So these, these will now um, show you the router's diameter. So if you set the uh, diameter to something larger, then you will see that that's reflected in the contour itself. Now, if you have a proper look at the uh, object info palette, you probably notice there's uh, a couple of new options there, uh, one of which is the machine options. Now, if I enable this, you uh, see two new um, pop-up menus, um, one showing the um, selected or configured um, machine uh, interface software. Um, and for this particular type of software, you can see all the installed routers. Now this is all in German because I'm using the same export starter that I'm using for my German version. Um, but you, you get the idea. So it's the, you know, if you switch it to a different machine, then you can see different routers, etc. Um, the nice thing about that is that you don't have to worry about the um, router's um, diameter. So uh, that's that's done automatically once you've set it. Now, the next thing is that um, um, a lot of our customers have been asking for um, multiple use of the contour itself. So if you wanted to, say, create um, a, a recess in um, in this in this custom part 3D, in previous versions, you had to create a second contour like so. And that would give you the um, desired result. Now that's fine and it worked pretty well, but um, if you wanted to change the um, setup or the, the, the size of this, this routing, you'd have to, you know, uh, use a selection marquee or drag and drop with the mouse twice for each contour, once for each contour. And you don't have to do that anymore. You can now set this to multi-usage, add another drill, uh, sorry, another router, um, and obviously configure its depth and distance to its uh, sibling individually. Now that's the, that's much easier and obviously you can still reshape it. By the way, even with the new router option, the um, diameter visualization, you can still do this, it still works. That's pretty neat, quite a new feature. and. Uh, place towards our um, production realism. Okay, next bit uh, for the Contour 3D. It's just a small addition, but something that, um, yeah, was kind of missing before. Uh, if you have a corner cutout and the cutout has a depth of, um, well, at least the same depth as the workpiece, in previous versions, this would happen. Now, this is happening here now because I have an edge banding set to my workpiece and I should probably just zoom in and pull this out a little bit. Uh, that's not quite quite enough. So there you go. Now, if you've correct, if you've set this up correctly, the the corner will now be removed, and you see the result as it will be on the machine. That's the uh, that's the new features for the Contour 3D for the upcoming version. Thank you very much.